Hi, I'm Brody Beta, and this is Geeklish, episode one. So I've been toiling for a while now over whether I should do video. Because as you know, video and producing clips can be a very time-consuming process, especially if you want to put them out on a consistent basis. But after getting the iPhone 4 and seeing the quality of it, it was really the push that I needed to get started. So not only is the quality awesome, as you can see, it's kind of an overcast day, but uh, I think the color looks pretty good. I'm hoping that I can do all the editing on my iPhone using a mobile app called Real Director. That way I can point and shoot, then edit on the fly. I have a must-have app for you, and it's called the VLC Media Player. It will work on your iPad, your iPhone 4, your iPhone 3GS, and newer versions of the iPod Touch. You've probably already heard of the VLC Open Source Media Player, because it's been around on the web for a while. So what makes the VLC Media Player so cool is it allows you to play almost any video file type, almost, without having to first convert to .move or .mp4. So the app basically decodes the videos you normally couldn't play using your iDevice and allows you to play them within the app. It also allows you to delete the media within the app instead of having to do it on iTunes and it plays the videos in both landscape and portrait modes. The app is crazy easy to get rolling. All you have to do is go into iTunes after downloading it, go into file sharing, then just copy over the media that you want to watch on your iDevice. So thank you for watching and uh, I'd love it if you gave me some feedback or maybe drop me a line. I'm really interested to see whether you think the, uh, the quality of the iPhone 4 is good enough or whether I should stop all this madness and take out my Canon T2i immediately. Either way, I'd love to hear from you. Like always, you can get a hold of me at brodybeta at gmail.com or you can check me out on Twitter. I'm at iPhone Girl. Oh, yeah,